I'm Max and this is Sophie and welcome back to our van build. This week we are looking at our seating area and how on earth we're gonna make it do all the things we need it to do. So wish us luck. So a while back you will have seen us build our seat boxes. Um, we've got a bit of a, like a dinette to sofa to single bed situation going on over here. Um, but it's not finished, anywhere near finished. So we're gonna build some of the backs in, we're gonna put the base in and hopefully that means I can buy some foam and we can start polstering and all the fun stuff that I've been waiting to do for a very long while. So let's go. We've just cut our first piece of ply and it's going to be one of the backs to our chairs. Look at that. Beautiful. So now we've cut the first one. What else do we need to do? Cut the second one. Because we need tools. We now have these two back pieces. Well, this is a general setup of what our little dinette's going to be. Ignore the chunky bit of foam. This is just a bit of rubbish. But this is our tabletop. It is currently sat down in the bottom um, just to represent what this would look like kind of in bed mode. We would then be able to lift up the tabletop. This would become our sofa obviously with the second piece of wood at the bottom. It is looking all right. I think we need to finesse the design slightly. Um, pretty excited about what, how it's going to turn out in the end. So we're going to talk you through our design. We need this seating area to do three different things. So number one, we need it to be somewhere to eat and somewhere to work. We also need it to be a sofa where we can sit, relax and watch movies. And we also want it to be a potential bed for where we have visitors. So we've got those seat boxes that we already made that were the fixed size for what we wanted in the van. Um, but to make that work with the table, we are going to put a little bit of a lip on the front of them like that and all that so the table when it's in table mode it's obviously up here but then when the table drops so we take the leg off of it it can sit in here and the table's actually going to be two bits of wood joined with a piano hinge so when it's in table mode it's got a piece of plywood under it so it's actually double height with the pretty pallet tabletop we have but then when it drops down it will sit in and then it will hinge up and that will create the center back piece that fills in between the two seats so that should go from table to sofa nice and easily it'll look prettier than that i promise what have you got there last piece of wood Yeah, boy. Hey, that looks good. Pretty piece of that. What do you think? I I like it. I do like it. I think it's it keeps this space nice and open. I think it will be a lovely space to sit and relax, but also work. I think it's gonna be good. So Sophie and I had a great day yesterday cutting out the base and back plywood for the seat boxes that we'd already built earlier on um, and today I am going to attach them to the seat base and then look at securing it all in place. So I think first of all we'll attach the back edge because we're creating these kind of corner pieces um, which that will be the back when you sat as a, as a table and chair and this will be the back when you sat on it as a sofa. So we'll attach that first and then we'll attach the base. So I'm here in the caravan 
and I'm looking at ordering some foam for our seating area. It has been a bit of a hard design challenge actually because we want to obviously not compromise on comfort but it also has to be a sofa that is cosy, a workspace that is suitable and supportive but it also has to be like not huge enough that it takes over the whole van. So interesting one. The foam we, we think we're going to order is going to be firm on the bottom so that it's a strong enough mattress but also so that it like doesn't compress over time and on the backs we think we're gonna go for 7.5 we've talked to a few people and they said that maybe the the 10 was too thick for the back so we think we're gonna go with the 7.5 in medium so hopefully it's a bit squishier and uh we'll see how that goes we originally had a budget of 150 quid for the foam and we think if we don't go for the sort of pre-wadded and stockinette option, we can get it in for like £127. So that's really, really good. I've been able to find stockinette online super cheap as well. So we can buy that ourselves and hopefully we can do the wadding and save some money. The main problem this leaves us with is that the 7.5 centimetres is obviously on two sides of our sofa box, which means our actual base is much, much smaller than we originally thought. So, we we'll have to come up with some sort of design that can extend so that Max's big butt can fit on our sofa. Today we're back and we are looking at our seating. And it means by the end of the day, I should have somewhere to sit and eat my lunch, which is important. So these seats have a lot of multi-purpose things going on. Today we are working on the bases, which we cut the other day, but we've kind of had a rethink because we ordered some foam and then realized that the seat would be too small because the foam's too thick and uh, well, basically we need to recut the bases so that there is a flap out here to extend the seat when it's in sofa mode so it's more comfortable. We also need the base to have a cutout here so that the table can set and slide in. We also need to fit in extra beams so that we can get the draw runners on. Ignore that one, that's for the table mount. There's a lot that needs to go into the seat base. So I guess we'd better get our pencils out and start cutting stuff. chair building has grounded to a halt because our saw has had a bit of a meltdown but we think we've identified the part we need a little wash is sheared off and we're gonna have to wait for that to arrive now we found the bit we found the bit that broke so there's two of these and one of them broke which has uh, halted today's progress until whatever time it is, one, two o'clock, three o'clock. It's three o'clock. <laughs> oh dear. Till three o'clock. And we've still not got a working saw and we've still not got a seat built. Going well. This is a bad day. We're waiting on a bit for our chop saw. Uh, so once that arrives, we'll be able to use it again properly. So for now, we're going to have to go a bit more old school and cut it by hand. I beg you. But we can still cut the ply with the circular saw. So we're gonna carry on building this seat finally at quarter past three. So that is the first piece of wood for our draw runners in, nice and solid. So Max is over here cutting the flap to extend our sofa. How's it going? Good, I'm just about to cut down the hinge for it. Do you want to explain what the sort of hinge we've got? It's a piano hinge, so it's quite a long, thin, doesn't need to take a lot of weight, so it's no problem. Yeah, just like that. 
second drawer on a bit of wood. Done. This is the official way to do this. Yes. Beautiful. <laughs> So now these are in, we need to create the risers to allow the flap that sits at the front to sit in flush. So Max is going to be cutting some little strips to make that happen. So we now have in place uh, wooden struts for our drawer runners so they're going to run in here nice big storage we've got our little flippy open section so this is going to extend um, the seat base when we're in sofa mode because Max has lanky legs and this section here is where the table drops down and this becomes a bed or a sofa There is our first seat, all complete and working. <laughs> Flap and all. And now we have to move on to our second seat. And do the exact same thing again. <laughs> Let's go! The next thing I'm going to do is paint this in some undercoat before it's ready for the top coat. Now this has had its base coat and we've measured up for our drawers, we're going to cut some three mil ply for some fronting pieces. We want to cover up all these joins and stuff to make it look more professional. Three is a magic number. <laughs> so this is painted and now it's drying and Max is going to do some caulking over there. Sorry, I had no idea you were there. So now this is painted, we need to attach it to this. But we haven't got the nail gun. Max's dad has had to take that for his work. So we need to figure out a way to attach it that's not going to ruin the aesthetic because that's super important. So we think maybe we'll just sort of tap it in. But that means going back to screw fix again. <laughs> screw fix trip. You know it. Confirmation of your screw fix order. Let's go. Got a little hammer, some little uh, punches, a nice set of pins. Sweet. So we've had our screw fix diversion and now we're heading back to the lockup so we can pin on those front panels, build our drawers and then hopefully get it all working and maybe even put them in the van if the paint's dry. Fingers crossed. So it's a new day and Sophie has done a beautiful job of giving them a first coat of undercoat. Oh, thank you. And uh, today we are on to building the drawers under the seat boxes. I'm really excited because this is the first sort of proper bit of cabinetry we're doing and I can start filling the van full of stuff. Yay! And you've got your drawer runners. I have my drawer runners. Let's go. So when we were building the seat boxes, we added these extra bits of timber in uh, to the length of the drawer and that's what our drawer runners are going to attach to. So we're going to work out quite how the drawers are made 
um, and then fit them onto there and fix it all in place. So now that we're on to building our drawers, we have sketched up a bit of a rough design. Um, we're going to use 12 mil ply um, to build a kind of base sides back and front. We're going to build it in a box um, and have the drawer runners and attach it all together. And then once it's in, we're going to have a separate piece that is the frontage face piece, which Sophie's currently designing, which is going to be like, what's it going to be? Another bit of ply with some like trim. It's going to be beautiful. You just have to wait and see. Um, so I'm going to focus on building those boxes while Sophie works out how those front pieces go. Yes, that's about it. So we've just measured out, just using a tape measure, uh, a few points along there. We've then taken this, which has been so useful on this build, which is a four foot drywall square, um, just to uh, put some marks on. And now we've got it marked and we've overrun a little bit with the lines so we can follow it with the saw. Um, we're gonna cut it just using a circular saw. Even though it's going to be hidden in a drawer, we still want to neaten up these rough edges and stuff because we're a bit of perfectionists. That's the wood for this first drawer cut out. Um, I've just stood it all up just to have a look at it. It looks all right. It's really huge, way bigger than I thought it would be. Um, so yeah, it's uh, late. So we're gonna call it a night and come back tomorrow to attach it all together. Basically IKEA flat pack now. So we're gonna leave it there for this week. Um, after that disaster with the saw, hopefully the bit arrives before next week and we can get back up to full speed and get the seating finished. Fingers crossed. Um, as always, thank you for watching. Please, would you comment and wish us luck and keep us going and subscribe and like and all that jazz because we really, really do appreciate it. And I guess we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.